हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन डेव एप्स लेट अस सी द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब डेव एप्स लाइफ साइकिल इन सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट डेव एप्स इज ए कल्चर विच प्रमोट्स कोलाबोरेशन बिटवीन डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑपरेशन टीम टू डिप्लॉय कोड टू प्रोडक्शन faster in an automated and repeatable way the word devops is a combination of two words development and operations devops helps to increase an organization speed to deliver applications and services it allows organizations to serve their customers better and compete more strongly in the market what is devops in simple words devops is a combination of two words development and operation before devops the development and operation team worked in a complete isolation testing and deployment were isolated activities done after the design build hence they consumed more time than the actual build cycles without using the devops team members are spending a large amount of their time in testing deploying and designing instead of building the project manual code deployment leads to human errors in production coding and operation teams have their separate timelines and are not in synchronous causing further delays there is a demand to increase the rate of the software delivery by business stakeholders as per the forrester consulting study only 17% of the team can use delivery software fast enough this proves the pain point let us compare traditional software waterfall model with devops to understand the changes devops brings we assume the application is scheduled to go live in 2 weeks and coding is 80% done we assume the application is a fresh launch and the process of buying servers to ship the code has just begun we can see the difference old process and devops in old process after placing an order for new servers the development team works on testing the operation teams works on extensive paperwork as required in enterprises to deploy the infrastructure in devops after placing an order for a new servers development and operation team work together on a paperwork to set up the new servers this result in in a better visibility of infrastructure requirement in old process the projection about failover redundancy data center allocation and storage requirements are skewed as no inputs are available from developers who have a deep knowledge of the application in devops projection about failover redundancy disasters recovery data center locations and storage requirements are pretty accurate due to the inputs from the developers operation team has no clue on the progress of the development team operations team can develop a monitoring plan as per their understanding so it happens in the old process but in devops the operation team is completely aware of the progress the developer are making operation teams they interact with the developers and jointly develop a monitoring plan that caters to the it and business needs they also use advanced application performance monitoring tools for the development purpose 
and in old process the before they go live the load testing crashes the application the release is delayed but in in dev apps before go live the load testing makes the application a bit slow the development team quickly it fixes the problem and the application is released on time so these are the difference between the old waterfall model and dev apps the dev apps allows agile development team to implement continuous integration and continuous delivery this helps them to launch the products faster into the market the other important reasons are predictability dev apps offers significantly lower failure rate of new releases reproducibility that versions predictability dev apps offer significantly lower failure rate of new releases reproducibility version everything so that earlier version can be restored any time maintainability effortless process of recovery in the event of a new release crashing or disabling the current system time to market dev apps they reduces the time to market up to 50% through streamlined software delivery this is particularly the case for digital and mobile applications greater quality dev apps helps the team to provide improved quality of application development as it incorporates infrastructure issues the next sixth one is a reduced risk dev apps incorporates security aspects in the software delivery life cycle it helps in reduction of a defects that occurs in the life cycle and it reduces the defects across the dev app life cycle resiliency the operational state of the software system is more stable secure and the changes are editable cost efficiency dev apps offers the cost efficiency in the software development process so which is always an aspiration of it companies management breaks the larger code base into the small pieces the dev apps is based on the agile programming method therefore it allows breaking large code bases into the smaller and manageable chunks so let us pause the video for a while and try to think and answer the question so when to adopt the dev apps is for which type of application so we can adopt the dev apps the answer is dev apps should be used for large distributed applications such as e-commerce sites or applications hosted on a cloud platform let us see when not to adopt dev apps it should not be used in a mission critical applications like bank power and other sensitive data sites such as such applications need strict access controls on the production environment a detailed change management policy access control policy to the data centers so dev apps is a deep integration between development and operations understanding the dev apps is not possible without knowing the development life cycle that is the dev apps life cycle here is a brief information about the continuous dev apps life cycle the first stage is a development in this uh, dev apps stage the development of the software that takes place constantly in this phase the entire development process is separated into the small development life cycles this benefits the dev apps team to speed up the software development and delivery process 
testing the quality assurance team uses a tools like selenium to identify and fix the bugs in the new piece of a code integration in this stage a new functionality is integrated with the prevailing code and testing takes place continuous development is only possible due to the continuous integration and testing deployment in this phase the deployment process takes place continuously and it is performed in such a manner that any changes made any time in the code should not affect the functioning of high traffic websites in the monitoring phase operation team will take care of the inappropriate system behavior or bugs which are found in the production so these are the following references that i referred thank you